Yeah, the, the, second, the Second Empire style was derived from uh, German and French practice. Um, there, was a, there was a famous building called the, the Paris Opera, which was built in the late 1860s, which was really a model for, for later flamboyant style buildings. And the, the elements that they chose and which they, um, uh, in, in fact, rejoiced in were um, interesting roofs, uh, mansard style roofs with scalloped tiles rather than just a plain uh, slate roof that uh, you, you have on the older post offices. Um, it had um, complicated lead work on the roof, it had uh, wrought iron work, it had uh, lion's heads, it had intricate plaster work, it had Corinthian columns, uh, de uh, classical detailing used in quite um, a showy manner. And uh, in, in fact, although it's not a stone building, it's a brick building which is rendered, it gave um, plenty of opportunity for the plasterers to show their skill. And it's those features and the interior joinery in particular, which um, uh, is quite magnificent, um, much more detailed than the joinery you would find in buildings 10 years earlier, government buildings 10 years earlier. So it's, it's a building which um, uh, shows that it costs a lot of money and it's quite proud, uh, it, it proudly exhibits the fact that it was built on gold wealth.